What's up, Facebook Live? What's up, everybody all around the world? It's Solace Kingdom there, Kingdom Fourth here, guys. Coming on here just to inspire you and encourage you guys. <clears throat> there is hope for you in your future right now, guys. I'm out here about to work out, and I just want to encourage you real quick. There's a Bible verse, Jeremiah 31, chapter uh, 31, verse 16 through 17. I'm about to post it, and this is what God says right here. And I wanted to, I wanted to give you this word right here before I work out. It says... Refrain your voice from weeping. Thus says the Lord in Jeremiah 31, 16. What's up, Kyle? Refrain your voice from weeping. So stop crying. And your eyes from tears, right? Stop crying. For your work, this is what God is telling to all y'all, all y'all entrepreneurs, everybody that's been putting in work, you're not seeing the results. For your work shall be rewarded, says the Lord. And they shall come back from the land of the enemy. Whatever, whatever's been going wrong in your life is about to be fixed right now. There is hope in your future, says the Lord, that your children shall come back to their own border. So, guys, I want you to know that God got good plans for you, but you got to read his word. You got to understand that he has a hope for you. Right. He has he has a calling and a purpose for you, but you got to keep working it. You got to keep doing what he told you to do. He said, don't weep, don't cry. He said, for your work shall be rewarded. So when you realize what God is telling you, he's saying your work should be rewarded. So don't stop doing the work. If you have a business, like I have a business that God has me in and I'm doing, it's doing great, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep doing the work in my business because my work is going to be rewarded. Your work will be rewarded even when you don't see it, right? Even when it doesn't look like it's going to be rewarded. You got to keep working. You got to keep going forward. You got to keep pursuing your dream. You got to keep doing the work and God is going to do the harvest. He's going to do the rest. So meditate on this verse. It's in Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 16 through 17. It says, thus says the Lord, refrain your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears for your work shall be rewarded, says the Lord. And they shall come back from the land of the enemy. There is hope in your future, says the Lord, that your children shall come back to their own border. The whole, the whole message that I'm talking about, I want you to know that there's hope in your future. Right. That's the whole message of this video. The Lord said that there is hope in your future. He said in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for evil to give you a future and a hope. If he has a good plan for me, then what, what are you weeping about? What are you crying about? What are you complaining about? What are you frustrated about? Keep doing the work in your business. Keep doing the work in your ministry. Keep doing the work. Faith without works is dead. Keep on doing the work. And you're going to see the reward, says the Lord in Jeremiah chapter 31. He says it. He says, refrain your voice from weeping. What is weeping? Crying, complaining. What are you complaining about? What are you crying about? He said, in your eyes from tears, why are you crying? The only reason you're crying because you feel like nothing good is coming to you. You feel like you're doing all this work in your business or whatever, and you're not seeing any results. But the Lord confirm he confirms it in Jeremiah 31. He says, for your work shall be rewarded. If you know that you're about to be rewarded for the work you're doing and you don't even see the reward, wouldn't you keep working it? Wouldn't you keep going towards your dream even when you didn't see the reward? That's what you got to do. That's why I do these videos every day because I already got the reward. Right. It's from my father. He told me to make these videos to encourage you, to inspire you, to lift you up when you feel down. Right. What's up, brother? What's up, Cedric Richardson? But what I'm trying to tell him said, I'm trying to tell him this, that their work will be rewarded. In Jeremiah chapter 31, the Lord said, refrain your lips from weeping. Right. Refrain, refrain your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears. For your work shall be rewarded, says the Lord, and they shall come back from the land of the enemy. And he said, there is hope in your future, says the Lord. So when you realize that you have something good coming your way, you have something great coming your way. What, what are you sad about? What are you complaining about? Who? See, the enemy wants to get in control of your soul. Your soul is your mind, your will and emotions. If he can stop you from believing in your mind, your will, and your emotions, your imaginations, right? He wants to attack your memory. He wants you to stop seeing how good God is. He wants you to focus on negative things. He wants to condemn you. But God has, he has uh, redeemed us from the curse of the law. We are under his grace. Guys, we are under God's grace. So you got to keep putting in the work to what God told you to do and stop 
Just stop letting things stop you from believing. Stop letting things stop you from being happy and grateful. Stop letting things stop you from seeing that great future. The enemy wants to attack your imagination so you don't see where you're going anymore. He doesn't want you to see yourself in a better place. He doesn't want you. He doesn't want me to do these videos. But every day I do these videos because I got to get you to understand that God has you. He got your back. Right. He has our back. He said he came to look. See, this is, I, you know, I, I get upset sometimes. I get frustrated. I'm not perfect. Right. But what, what I'm doing right now, I'm learning is that I got to control my soul. You have to control your soul or the enemy is going to control it. Guys, we say, how did we save our spirit? By getting baptized by Jesus Christ, by receiving Jesus as our Lord and Savior. But our soul, we got we to gotta constantly renew our mind every day. Our soul isn't saved. We got to save our soul. We got to constantly renew our mind. We got to constantly re renew our imagination. We got to constantly remember the goodness of God and all the good things he's done for us. Right? Think about all the good things Jesus has done for us. Think about it. Everything he's done for you. Think about it. Think on those. He said, think on those things that are pure, that are just, right? That are of good report, that are worth praise, right? Think about those things. See, if the enemy can get you thinking that you failed, you're going to fail. He knows that because we become what we think about, right? So we got to think. We got to think like Jesus. We have his mind, but we don't use it. You got to start using the mind of Christ. In Proverbs, it says the mind of the righteous, it says his thoughts are right. So if you've ever been thinking something, like you've been in a situation and you've been thinking about it, you've been thinking something, right? You thought this person didn't have your good intentions. You were right. It wasn't you thinking, it was the Lord. The Lord is going to show you who is right and who is not. He's going to reveal all things, the Holy Spirit. He's going to show you where you should go and where you should not go. Just like he has me doing this video. I have peace while I'm doing this video. I have peace. See, this is how you know that the Holy Spirit is guiding you. You have peace. You have peace when you're doing something. It, it, look, your life, it can be, your life can be going crazy around you. But if the Lord gave you an instruction, you will have peace when you follow him. When you, when you follow what he told you to do. So, guys, I want you to meditate on Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 16. It says, refrain your, the Lord says, thus says the Lord, refrain your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, right? For your work will be rewarded, says the Lord, and they shall come back from the land of the enemy. There is hope in your future, says the Lord, that your children shall come back to their own border. What I want you to remember, if you don't remember nothing, there is hope in your future and you will, you will be rewarded for your work. Right. The Lord said, this is the year. This is the day of the Lord's vengeance. This is the this is the year of the Lord's recompense. The word vengeance means the Lord payback, the Lord revenge. Anybody that's done you wrong, anything that that's been done wrong to you by the enemy, the Lord is going to make him pay it back sevenfold. The Lord is going to make him pay it back rightfully. What do you what you deserve? Right. And he's going to recompense you. What does recompense mean? He's going to compensate you. For everything you lost, right? He, he he's gonna he's gonna make the enemy pay back everything that you lost. God is gonna make the enemy pay it back to you. So, guys, all this that I'm telling you, it's a word straight from the Bible. I love you. God bless. I'm about to get this workout in. But, guys, you can't get tired for Jesus. You gotta keep going every day, every single day of your life, guys. I love you. God bless. Later.